We are Lauren and Justin Pico, and we have five kids. Um, Ella is our oldest, she's nine. Eva is seven, and Eden is five. And then most recently, as of about four months ago, we have two foster kids. Um, Day, he's two and a half, and his little sister, Deja, and she's one and a half. We started uh, coming to Coastal in 2012. We moved to Coconut Creek. Um, we literally, on a Sunday morning, were like, we need to find an, another church to go to that's close by. And we Googled it, and we saw TJ and Shayla's picture on the internet. And we're like, they look nice, let's go check it out. So we went to Coastal, literally within 30 minutes of finding the church on the internet, we walked in the door at Monarch High School. So after we bluffed each other into going to Coastal, we kind of discovered the gem that it is as far as it's a fantastic church with a fantastic message. It really, you know, conveys the word of God. Jesus and his word is, is definitely conveyed through the church, but more so in the way that they live it out. So you can go to a church and receive a good message, but not every church is really good about connecting with people and getting other people connected. Um, and I think that Coastal was really good at doing that. And we've met some awesome people to just do life with through the church. And I think that is um, something that's unique to Coastal in a lot of ways. Um, and I think it's something that's actually really helped our kids because we've met people that have had kids that are going through, you know, same seasons of life, same journeys. But shortly after we moved to Parkland, we decided, more so, I decided again, that we should reopen the conversation about fostering. And um, Justin was on board at that point and we went through the classes and got licensed. And um, shortly thereafter, we got a phone call that there was a little boy that needed a home. and. We and the girls were so excited to take on that journey and, and we felt like it was the right time and so we opened our home to him and um, we couldn't have been happier with having him in the home. It, it felt more complete. We felt like we were really walking in the light of God's plan. We had so much support again from Coastal which was um, not something that we didn't foresee happening being you know, the support from Coastal but the amount of support and the amount of love was um, somehow still surprising. Um, and then Shortly after taking Little Brother, we got a phone call that there was a little girl that needed a home and it was one of his sisters. And we really thought and really prayed and struggled because that would mean having five kids in the home. And I thought there was no way Justin would ever agree to it. And um, one of his questions was, that's a lot of kids. What about babysitters? And what about, you know, how are we gonna do this? And I looked at him and with like full confidence, I go, we go to Coastal, like we, we, we've we got this, we've got a modern day village, we've got people who will help us and I don't think I ever doubted that for a minute that we would have as much support and love and encouragement um, as we would need to get through it and to do it. And so the day we went through the foster classes, still kind of maybe a little bit more excited but still kind of neutral about it, um, and Day, which is the fo our foster son's name, he came on my birthday. And the first thing that he said to me when I walked in the door from work was happy birthday, daddy. And at that moment, it was like, whatever cloud that I had that was following me around was lifted. And I had the biggest conviction that this was where we were supposed to be. And from that moment on, that's when like there was peace in our household. Um, and you know, now he's just another part of the family. He's our little brother, we have little sister. Um, so definitely where God wanted us to be. Um, I didn't see it at first, but I just had to trust that um, the call was right for our family. And the call came through Lauren. And to see the influence that Coastal has had on our girls, and like Justin was saying, to allow us to open up our hearts to more kids and to know through practice that Coastal was going to be um, supportive and helpful and love on these kids. Um, that was monumental in our decision making, um, whether or not this calling was right, whether or not we could handle it. Um, and, and to see our kids be able to quote scripture, um, to see them have a, a hunger and a thirst for that, to know right from wrong, biblically speaking, and to be able to, to love on kids and be generous and want to share God with others, that's something that, you know, as parents we can instill in them, but to really have a partner in our church where they are able to step alongside us and say, okay, together we're gonna work on this main point and this topic and, and have them kind of teach our kids what we're teaching and, and partner with us and sharing faith and growing their faith is, is incredible. Because these are the kids that are gonna raise the next generation and, and they're gonna instill in them what we instill into them now. And so I think it's so important that we pour into these kids 
the word of God, the truths of God, the, the we you know we tell them that they are fearfully and wonderfully made because they are, and they're going to grow up with a sense of purpose and identity, and you know with all the bullying going on, they need like their strong roots and foundations to know who they are in Christ. So when someone says something to them that's counter to that, they can always circle back and say, but. Who am I in Christ? What is the truth of who I am? And if they have that on lock, they can handle anything this world throws at them and they'll live up to their God-given potential and their God-given dreams and they're gonna birth like phenomenal things for this planet and this earth and it's things that we can't do simply by ourselves in our little bubble, in our little house, in our little corner of Parkland. We need the church, we need these volunteers and these teachers and these pastors to step alongside us and really roll up their sleeves and, and get in. Um, and that's what Coastal does and that's what is um, been invaluable to, our, to our, our family and our kids, to see our kids love coming to church, not just for the donuts, but also because yeah. they like the message and they like the activities that they play. Um, and I think it's gonna happen through the kids in Parkland that as families show up to Coastal, the kids are gonna be changed and the kids are gonna change the families of Parkland. So that's what I'm excited to see happen in Parkland through Coastal. Yeah.